In this section, you will learn about modulation transfer function, or MTF. MTF is a very important lens performance metric, which describes how well contrast can be transferred from object to image. It is given as a function of spatial frequency. So when the line spacing in a test target becomes smaller and smaller, it gets really challenging to resolve them, which means that the lens's ability to transfer contrast is reduced, and so the MTF goes down as well. An interesting thing to note here is that every single component within an optical system has its own MTF. And the MTF of a system is calculated by taking the product of all individual components. For example, if a system has a lens and a camera, the system MTF is given by this relationship, the product of lens MTF and the camera MTF. If you're looking to design an optical system with a particular specification in mind, MTF curves will be very uh, important in evaluating the performance of your design and help you optimize it. Okay, this is what an MTF curve looks like. The F number, the working distance, and the lens stock number is given at the top here. As I mentioned earlier, the x-axis contains uh, the spatial frequency, and in the y-axis, we have contrast. The top uh, line, here the dark the black line here denotes the diffraction limited performance the solid lines uh, represent the sagittal plane the dashed lines represent the tangent now we will compare the performances of a number of lenses by looking at their mtf curves the first set of curves that we are going to discuss now have the same focal length and f number this light blue line here shows that at least 30% contrast can be achieved nearly across the whole field of view. So it means that um, the full advantage of the sensor is used here, but in lens B, this is not the case. At least 30% contrast is achieved only up to this spatial frequency, so the image quality will be worse with, the, with this lens. The reason behind such difference in two similar lenses is that the first lens has a more complex design and it is built under, uh, under tight manufacturing tolerances. Now let's look at two designs where the F number is the same, but they have different effective focal lengths. This orange box here shows the intercept at 70% contrast of the first lens. Let's look at the light blue lines here again in both cases. We can see that lens B produces a much better contrast. To be precise, the lens can produce 33% 30 better contrast relative to the first lens. Now we will compare two lens designs where the same focal length is used, but they have different F numbers. Normally, uh, you would think that lower F number lenses will collect more light and so they will perform better. This is correct. So this is what we see when we uh, look at the diffraction limited performance of these two lenses. And we can see the low F number lens has better diffraction limited performance. But when you look at the other lines, you uh, on this MTF curve, you will see that this f2 lens performs much much worse compared to this one this is due to the aberrations that unfortunately present themselves when f uh, when low f number is used you have to keep in mind that using high f number may get you good results in some cases cases but uh, the diffraction re limited resolution would be compromised and longer exposure time may be needed to account for the reduced light throughput Finally, we will see the effect of wavelength on MTF. In both these cases, the same lens is used. The only difference is that white light source was used to evaluate the performance of uh, evaluate the performance here, and a 470 nanometer blue light illumination 
was used in this case. In B, the performance is at least around 60%, but in A, it is always lower than 50%. This, uh, this uh, B MTF curve also beats A in diffraction limited performance as well. So we can see that monochromatic illumination enables superior performance. First, it gets rid of chromatic aberration. Second, smaller wavelengths mean tighter focusing and smaller diffraction limited spot size.